break steel here. Finally got around to testing this PWM and it works flawlessly. Uh, what you're hearing is the fan, which is working good. Uh, I also might add I've been running this thing for about 20 minutes or so and it's just still room temperature so uh, that heat sink is going to be more than adequate. Um, just a quick look at this. Uh, I downgraded my wire just because uh, it's as good as I have laying around the house. I still got to get some more 8 gauge wire. So I'm running this at 10 gauge. Uh, just a for now. I wouldn't do this uh, permanently. The way I have this rigged, so I've got my two leads. Coming off. Barely see that. The 10 gauge over here on the cell negative and the 8 gauge on the ground. Coming straight from the uh, power supply. And I uh, just ran it straight from the power supply to the positive terminal and then off to the cell. I realized that I could have probably just jumpered that, but. That's just the way I hooked it up, I don't no particular reason. Um, as far as the oscilloscope probes, I have the channel 2 blue hooked up to the center drain of the power MOSFET. Uh, just because it clips there nicely, I could that clip that to the uh, outer terminal here, the uh, cell minus. But clips there nicely and I have channel 1 yellow hooked to the gate of the power MOSFET and uh, it just kind of clips nicely underneath the uh, circuit board there so uh, anyhow right now I have it running at a let's see a hundred percent duty cycle I believe um, you notice we're down to 0.16 amps and a little less than a volt, 0.8 of, of a volt. And we're running at, uh, it's about 11 and a half. And no amps. And as you can see on the scope, we are drawing a flat line. So, I'm going to go ahead and this up to the stand and what I'm going to do is turn the duty cycle down and get that running at about a 50% duty cycle um, and then I can show you some of the other workings Also, I have channel 1 monitoring the frequency uh, in the bottom, bottom left corner. So all I'm going to do now is adjust the duty cycle. that down to about a 50% duty cycle. And maybe you can see it. That's roughly 50%. Um, I can keep going, run it to 60%, uh, but that's this just fine. That uh, shows a nice waveform. Um, now, if we go adjust the camera one more time. You can see that... Uh, sorry about the zoom here. Get a little bit of production and our voltage 
raised to 10.10 .10 and our amperage 3 yeah 3.3 .3. Still registering the same voltage on power supply, and our amps came up just a little bit. So, in continuation here, um, you can see the frequency that I was talking about is at 10 hertz. I can adjust that down by turning the potentiometer. Just all the way down to about two kilohertz, I believe, before the scope loses it. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And continue our way down. So this is just to show you the full function functionality of the frequency adjustment. And there we've hit the bottom threshold. So it adjusts from 1 all the way up to 10, as it should. We'll bring that back up. And lastly, I can show you the current limiting. Let's bring that frequency all the way up to first. Okay, there's our frequency back where it should be, or at least where I want it for now. We're still running our 50% duty cycle, and we are currently That's why that's doing that. I get that on hold. Okay. Um, let me finish my thought here. Now we are currently going to check the current limiting. In which case we can... Where am I? There we go. And we can drop that all the way down to nothing. Uh, I'm registering 0.15 amps at 1.43 volts. Um, let's bring that back up. So that's a full adjustment on the current limiting. And we can bring that all the way out to not limited at all. Um, barely see the movement in here. And now we are just about fully out. So, there you have it. A fully working PWM. Works quite nicely.